Chivalry 2 is just a great game. It's the kind of game where you can chop off a motherfucker's head, pick up that head, chuck out another motherfucker, chuck your weapon, chuck your other weapon, go punch him in his face because you chucked all your weapons away, maybe lose an arm and just keep fighting until one of you dies. Probably you because you have no arm. It's 32 on 32 mayhem. Everyone's just yelling and just smashing against each other in cool and pretty silly ways. It's just a fucking fun game. It's also a complex yet easy to use fighting game. It's filled with parries, counters, armor breaks, kicks, jabs, slashes, and stabs, but the game doesn't require crazy execution. All you need is some decent, decent game sense and you can get pretty far. Um, it's the kind of game where you could put in effort but not have to sweat, and I can't think of many games that fit that bill. I feel like most games that require effort or some sort of competitive nature require you to fucking sweat. Uh, there are four classes, you got your fast agile footmen, your slow tanky knights, your vanguards which fit somewhere in between those two, and then you got your devils, your archers. If you want to be an archer, that's cool and all, but I hate you, and pretty much so does everyone else. But that's just the life of an archer, you'll, you'll see. Uh, you can play the game in first person or third person modes, I've seen people swear by both. I prefer to duke it out in third person, I like the increased field of view, but first person is pretty fun too, it's pretty fucking intense in first person. Uh, there are s subclasses, each class has like three subclasses with different available loadouts. Uh, example would be the footman has a class where it's like more of a support character who builds up like walls and stuff to kind of hinder the en your enemies from like getting through doors or getting to objectives. Uh, they should also fight with like a dinky knife or something. Uh, one of their other subclasses, they fight with pole arms like big halberds or spears. And then they have a subclass where they they fight with like shields and one-handed weapons. So, you know, they can really get up in your grill because fucking women are fast. Uh, as far as negatives go, there's a bit of a grind to unlock the weapons and subclasses. Uh, and, you know, and the cosmetics as well. Maybe they could use a bit more maps. And every now and then, like, their servers are just crap. Like, they release a patch to just ruin fucking the servers. But those usually get fixed out pretty fast. Uh, there's a bunch of different game modes in the game and, and maps. But you'll likely stick to the 64-player mix modes. Um, there are maps where you siege castles and... Actually, you're usually sie sieging or defending some sort of fortification now that I think about it. But battles are fought out in stages, like maybe the first stage is you have to push your siege towers to a castle wall within a few minutes. And the next stage you'd be fighting to take possession of the castle's walls in like a King of the Hill scenario where you gotta hold your ground. Before eventually leading to a stage where someone you have to go like kill your enemy's king. And then the other team would have to be defending their king in the... Whoever has like the most kill in that team gets to be the king, and the king is like a special guy with like a special weapon, a little bit more HP, hits fucking hard. Um, there are weapons in the environment, like trebuchets and arbalists, uh, oh sorry, trebuchets and arbalists. There are traps that can be sprung or dropped at enemies. The environment itself is a weapon where you can pick up rocks, trees, bones, fish, and just chuck that shit at scumbags. My favorite thing to do is to pick up the wheel and chuck it at dummies. The wheel gets some fucking sweet distance. Like, yo, I don't even know how to explain how fun this game is. And that's why I'm giving it a 10 on 10. Would recommend.